Welcome everyone to another Perpetual Futures DEX review and today's video we're going to take a look at RabbitX. If you're not familiar with RabbitX, it is a Perpetual Futures DEX live on StarkNet which is an Ethereum layer 2. So I really like this DEX, I've started trading on it for the past week. It's got a really smooth uh, and clean UI and it was really easy to actually get onboarded onto RabbitX like it took me less than four and a half minutes in order to do so. So I just wanted to talk about this today because I really think it's putting itself into the higher echelons of perpetual futures DEXs out there. I mean, a lot of them that I'm looking at in the market right now, they're just GMX forks or like gains network forks. And so I'm really glad that something like RabbitX is being released. And for right now, I think it's probably the best perpetual futures DEX on StarkNet. I know there's a lot more coming online fairly soon. We'll see if the developers of RabbitX will be able to keep the lead. So if you want to get started with RabbitX, you'll need to deposit USDT from Ethereum mainnet. So when you press this deposit here, you need USDT in your wallet. And effectively what will happen is that will send the USDT over to a StarkNet uh, smart contract that rabbit x controls and from there uh, you've got your money into your account and you can start trading like i said before it took me about four and a half minutes um, to get that all sorted out the advantage of having this set up is that you actually have gasless trading so i'll show you now i'll go long uh, ethereum and you know what we'll test out how fast this is as well There we go. I didn't have to sign any transactions and then I just want to close this position. Boom, there we go. Just like that, in and out. Now, if you compare this to something like GMX where you have to fiddle around with like gas fees and uh, signing transactions and MetaMask, that takes a lot longer. And so that's what I really liked about RabbitX. This is probably more suited to people who want to do day trading and, and that sort of thing as well. Uh, but in terms of just looking at the UI, it's quite smooth. Uh, I, I really like it. It's got everything that you need here. Um, it looks quite professional too. It's got your, you know, obviously your standard uh, trading view charts and so on and so forth. Uh, another feature that I really enjoyed, um, if I just go into the Bitcoin chart here, is that you have chart tradings, chart trading. So I can click on here to close this position instantly or I can go down here to close this position, or I can close the position up here. Just the fact that you have so many different options here, which is quite nice for um, traders. Now, taking a look at the markets that RabbitX has, we have uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Arbitrum, Dogecoin, Lido, Sui, and Pepe. So a lot of the big majors that people will want to trade, Bitcoin, ETH, Sol, obviously Arbitrum, uh, Sui, and Pepe, which are, you know, I think this is a good mixture of, tokens that you can actually trade and this is all up to 20x leverage as well as you can see here the volumes are low on RabbitX for right now but these are going to progressively get higher and higher in the future um, as they start introducing liquidity incentive and they are openly advertising an airdrop campaign right now as well so if you want to go ahead and start using RabbitX now's the time you have until about August 15th before they do the cutoff but i'll explain that in a second so i just wanted to talk about fees here they have their fee tiers up here so it's a 0.07 percent taker fee i think the market standard for like binance uh is like 0.04 or 0.05 so a little bit more expensive on rabbit x and that makes sense because they don't want people to be taking uh liquidity especially when there isn't a lot to begin with so if you are a market maker this might be a good place to go because they're giving rebates for market makers and of course it depends on how much volume you're putting through there as well you're getting high rebate uh, amounts as i mentioned before rabbit x is doing an airdrop and all you need to start doing is visit the exchange connect your wallet deposit usdt and start trading now they're doing this because it rewards early adopters, it increases liquidity and it helps build the community. But there are some things to consider when um, trading on RabbitX if you are looking for that airdrop. Um, is your trading volume, so the more volume that you put through RabbitX, the bigger the airdrop you're going to get. Uh, your deposits as well, so the more that you deposit into RabbitX and the longer you keep 
you're in RabbitX, um, the greater your airdrop will be, your average open interest, your RBX token holdings, and then uh, <laughs> liquidated accounts will receive a special bonus uh, as part of the airdrop. So that's that's pretty funny from them. Uh, in terms of the roadmap, um, for the product roadmap, we see that they've done their mainnet launch on StarkNet. Uh, they're going to be introducing staking, traders rewards, um, global markets, so FX, commodities, and interest rates, and then eventually add um, different collateral types and options trading, which I think is pretty cool. Um, they're looking to become like just the perpetual futures decks for everything, which I really appreciate. And so just to round off this video, I just wanted to talk about some of the pros and cons of Rabbit X. So pros, the gasless trading, of course, the sleek UI. It's also very easy to get started. And I like the fact they have uh, the chart trading, which is pretty cool as well. Oh, and the last one, uh, no geo block, which is uh, amazing for my American viewers. Now, in terms of cons, uh, I think they need more markets, of course. I mean, Rabbit X is still very new. I think like under three months old. So it is expected that they don't have a lot of markets. But when you think about it, the fact that Rabbit X is only like three months old is it's quite impressive the amount of markets they actually have out right now. Uh, they also need more order types. They only have limit and market orders. I wish they would have uh, stop orders too. Uh, so that means you could put stop losses in and, and that sort of thing. Additionally, it needs more liquidity on this exchange. Um, but that's not something that they can really fix right now in terms of like we're in a bear market. There isn't a lot of money flowing through. Lots more perpetual futures DEXs are coming online. And so the liquidity is being spread thin between a lot of these DEXs. I know that some of them will die off in the future and the strong ones like RabbitX should hopefully survive and then absorb that liquidity. So we'll probably see that fixed in the future. Uh, additionally, the last thing I would like to talk about in terms of cons in, is that, um, it only has USDT as a collateral type. Like, I think if they're going to go with centralized stable coins anyway, they might as well add USDC to this. Um, but I would really like for them to have ETH as a base collateral here on RabbitX as well. And it looks like they're planning to do that and perhaps they're just not ready to do so for right now. So that was my review of RabbitX. I'll definitely continue to use it and start putting volume through. Um, it's one of the only perpetual futures dexes out there that allows you to trade like Pepe, Sui and Arbitrum. And so I really like it for that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.